What's up guys and welcome back to another video where today we're upgrading our sound system. Alright, so I did wrap these pieces outside of the truck. Um, I didn't vlog it because it's super easy. They're flat panels here, so I uh, went ahead and wrapped that. And we do have upgraded speakers. When I took out the panel, I did see that it was upgraded, but they still suck. I mean, they're better than the stock ones, but I'll show you. I'll put a little sample. They completely suck. So I'm going to be upgrading that. We're going to be upgrading our head unit. Right now we have the stock one here. It's seen better days. So we're going to be upgrading to a double den. I was thinking of doing an iPad here, but honestly, I already have the iPad in that truck. And this truck doesn't have the steering wheel controls. So it's going to be a lot of money to try to get the iPad to work with this truck. And plus, again, we need the backup camera because I'm going to put a backup camera on this one. So we would need to buy that. So this is more of a budget build. So I'm just going to be doing a double den. Maybe later on I'll upgrade to the iPad. But for now... We'll just do a simple double den. And I am going to be wrapping a lot of the plastic pieces inside here like that. This. I need to wrap these. This part here. So, uh, should be an interesting vlog. Okay, this is the speaker we currently have in here. It's not too bad, but I don't know why they sound like crap. I think they're, um, I don't know, man. Something about them just makes them sound like crap, so. Uh, and they use drywall screws for here. I don't know if you guys can see that. They use drywall screws here. They use a regular nice bolt there. But I don't like the drywall screws, so I'm going to be removing this whole thing. Alright, took it out. It turns out this is an Alpine speaker component. So, um, I mean, the quality is pretty good, but I don't know about Alpine. I'm not a big Alpine fan. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be taking this out. And we're going to be installing a Rockford Fosgate system here. So, uh, we'll see the difference between the driver's side and the passenger side right now. So, let me bring the new speaker in. I, knew, I didn't want them to do this, but I guess they did cut off the terminals here. So, I'm going to have to be reusing these here or maybe soldering some new ones. Which sucks. And then, I did buy an adapter to see if it fits in here. So we'll, I'll bring the adapter right now and see if everything fits, but they did just screw the drywall screws in there, which is not the best thing to do, honestly. Alright, I did buy this adapter, but the problem is that we have these tabs here, so I'm not sure if I have to cut them off or anything, because this is a 6 and 3 quarter speaker, and it's not this way. So the, the only way, it's supposed to go this way, but as you guys can see, the tabs are keeping it from going down. Anyways, this is the speaker we're going with. This is a Rockford Fosgate. I really like their brand. And I just gotta make this fit. If not, I might not just use the adapter and just put it in like that. But let's try to cut these tabs off and see if it gives us a little bit more clearance. Alright, so I was able to cut off the tabs here. But even then, these holes just don't align with the Rockford Fosgate speaker. So I'm just going to not use these. I'm gonna, I went ahead and mounted the speaker. And with the Sharpie, I marked the holes that I have to drill out using these insert nuts here. That way it's a clean install. Because I can use probably uh, self-tapping screws. 
but I want it to be nice and firm. I don't want to do some Mickey Mouse work on this, so. I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes out and insert these nuts. All right guys, I went ahead and installed all my insert nuts, four of them. So I'm gonna install my speaker now, screw it in, and then we'll test it out, compare it to the other side. All right guys, I was gonna keep these, but I'm actually gonna change them. I don't trust these crimp connectors, so I'm gonna solder some connections on here and probably splice it here. And this is the wiring that came with the speakers themselves. So these are a lot better. So I'm gonna be using these. So I'm gonna cut this part off and we'll just start it here. All right guys, I color coded them. This ones are positive and this ones are negative. That way I don't ever mess them up. I'm gonna go ahead and test our speaker out before we screw it into place. I can't play too much on where you got copyrighted, but I, I notice it's much more cleaner on this side than this side. And I haven't even put the other uh, speaker that goes back here yet. So man, it's gonna make a big difference. So, and I put the um, equalizer just just to show the front ones, nothing to the back yet. Because the back ones suck for some reason, I don't know why. But it sounds nice and clean, man. I'm really happy with these. The install went great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and button up all this other side here so we can get started on this back side. All right, guys, all buttoned up here. Time to move back here. Um, I have no idea how to remove this. I think it's probably just gonna be a bolt here. Maybe another bolt here, and the whole thing should just be able to. I just need enough room to be able to access this speaker. I'm curious to see what speaker is in here because this one's way underpowered. I can barely hear the ones in the back. All right, so I guess it was just one seven millimeter bolt here, and I have to remove this bolt here too. But I don't have the star shaped bit right there. I think that's a T. 50 t45 i don't know what size that is but i don't have one all i have is a tilt to t40 so i'm gonna have to run to the store and get that one to remove this top seat belt part and then the rest of the panel should be able to come off um in the meantime i don't want to run to the store yet so i'm gonna be wiring our radio i'm gonna be doing that inside i'll be back right now with all of this uh all wired and done with our wiring harness for this truck all right guys i finished my wiring harness if your wiring harness doesn't look like this you're doing it wrong so all my connections are soldered this is a connection that's going to go to the radio this is going to go to the oem harness and this is our to keep our warning chimes so uh, like i said everything is soldered and everything's wrapped in tessa tape you want to keep it nice and clean and make it look like it's OEM, like it belongs there. So I'm going to go ahead and start by removing this radio. To remove this radio, it's very easy. Pretty much just, it's all being held on by clips. Well, the bezel at least. So I'll actually remove it. There we go. We're going to have to unclip these two little clips here. And then the whole thing just pops out. Alright guys, our radio is out. It's just being held on by a few 7mm bolts. Six on each side to take the AC out. Mm, broken thing. Most of you might have to cut this open here in the back because your radio won't fit all the way in the back. So um, it looks like this person already cut a chunk off of here. So I'm going to test the radio to see if it fits. But uh, we can start plugging in our harness. So we have one plug there, and another plug here. I have an. All right, we got confirmation. Made noise already, and then 
this wire I'm leaving it out because I'm going to be putting um, a reverse camera so I'm leaving this one out here for now I have an adapter for the antenna I haven't put that in yet but I'm gonna go ahead and bring our radio our new radio in plug it this end in and see if everything works before we continue on here's our radio I went ahead and installed the bezel here Bam. this is the Pioneer MVH 215BT Right here's the model number. Oh, you guys can see that. There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this part back here. And plug it in back here. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab my keys. I'm gonna grab my keys and turn on the truck. And we should, if we wired everything correctly, it should turn on. There we go. Now we have sound. Then we have sound. All right, our radio's not gonna work because we don't have the adapter yet. But let's see Bluetooth. I'm gonna try to connect to my phone. All right, we got it all working. So it's connected right now to my phone. Sorry, this is my sister's playlist, so you guys are gonna have to deal with this. But just so I can test the speakers out real quick. All right, guys, I went ahead and wrapped the dash inside. Also wrapped these uh, AC controllers right here. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap this real quick. Very easy. All right, guys, next thing on our list to try to wrap is the steering wheel sides here. Uh, for some reason it's already super scratched up here, but I'm just gonna wrap over it. I'm not gonna take care I'm not gonna try to body work it or anything but um, We do have the airbag that I took out Just little two little allen heads just push on the sides here And it pushes a little spring on the inside here, and then I'm gonna remove these uh, Bolts there. All right guys finish wrapping these pieces Wrap them outside of the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back on here, and then I uh, think we're set with this area. So, next thing to wrap is gonna be this one, and then this. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do maybe some rings around here of the same color, and then this is gonna be the last thing to wrap. I'm gonna wrap this ring around here too. All right, guys, there you have it. Yeah, nice and clean. I'm gonna Put some matte film probably over this and then print out a Chevy logo on my computer using my printer. The vinyl cutter machine. Alright guys, I'm doing the driver's side now. Went ahead and soldered my connections here. See, all nice and soldered. So go ahead and um, I did put some nut inserts in here. And on the bottom here, it's too close to the edge. So I'm just going to be using some of these that came with the speakers here. These can just go over the sheet metal and it's it'll grab the screw there. So let's go ahead and install our driver speaker. Alright guys, this next part is how to install our backup camera. I'm going to install it here in this license plate right here. It's just the two screws here and I'm going to run all the wiring through the underside of here all the way to the top of this tail light here so let me go ahead and open this tail light so I can show you how to wire this all right guys I ran my wiring up here tapped it into this green one here which is on the reverse light um, I did use one of these little t-taps here because I didn't want to splice into my factory wiring 
and I want to be able to remove it if I want to. So it's a quick disconnect here. And I went ahead and used this wire wheel here to make a good ground here. So I'm going to ground this to here, probably with the self tapping screw. Right there, and then we'll run the rest of our wiring up to the head unit. Alright guys, forgot to tell you, one side of this is going to go to the same red from the power from the tail lights. So, forgot to solder this, so I'm going to go ahead and solder it around the same area here, splice it through, and just solder it all together. Alright guys, back to the backup camera, I went ahead, buttoned all this area up, ran my wiring all the way through here. I'm out here right now, right here, and now I'm going to be running it under the truck, and I'm going to drill a hole right here. So it's going to be coming up through here, and then from here all the way to the dash. So, um, so I think this is a good spot to drill a hole here. That's why I did my other truck too. Alright, I went ahead and drilled my hole. I'm going to clean this area up here and add a little bit of uh, paint to the side so it doesn't rust. And then I'm going to be adding a, one of these little grommets here. Put it in there and then run our wiring through here. Alright guys, I added my grommet here. And then our cable goes up here. Goes behind the glove box all the way to here. For those of you guys buying this kit, it's exact. The, it's the exact length you need just to go this far. The whole thing is stretched out, so um, just keep that in mind. So don't tangle it anywhere or anything, because it's going to come out right where you need it. Everything is nice and buttoned up, zip tied all the way in the bottom. So I think we're set. We can start putting everything back together. I'm going to take this inside real quick and wrap the edges. Wrap them all to, to match the truck. And we can start butting everything up. All right, wrapped that piece already. I'm gonna go ahead and button everything up now. This whole place, this whole thing came out sick. Let me grab my seven millimeter. We got all that buttoned up for our dash here, whatever you want to call this. I ended up just wrapping rings around it. There you go. I had to use my uh, vinyl cutter inside to measure out the size of each uh, ring and cut them exactly the same because if I try to vinyl wrap it and then use a knife to cut around it, it's going to come out very jagged. But like this comes out nice and clean so I'm gonna go ahead and install this on here and then I wrapped this other piece over here too already and we have our dash wrapped that's gonna go here so pretty much set so I'm gonna button all this up I'll show you when it's all completely done here and then last but not least, we have to do this. So I'm going to do probably a matte black. And then with our vinyl cutter, cut out a Chevy sign and put it down here. But I think that's about it on our interior. Alright guys, this is the last thing I have to do here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it in the matte black first. And then I use this tool here to measure the size of the Chevy sign. That way I can print it out and have it the same color as this, this burgundy color. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the matte black first. I already measured everything out and then just lay the other one on top. All right, so wrapped it with matte black here, matte black film. Actually, this is satin. So I'm just going to make sure it's nicely wrapped. And then we're going to go inside and cut out Chevy bow tie here. And we're all set. So, I think that's fine like this. So, I'm just going to cut around it, take that out, and move on inside. Alright guys, there's our bow tie. 
we're completely done with the interior I'm just gonna go ahead and detail everything so again we wrap this area here we did rings around here then we did the steering wheel here we did this we did this whole thing here we did that and the door panels we did these two things guys now that we got all our interior done we still need the back speakers but like I said I need that I think it's t50 tool to take the seat belts off so I'm just gonna end the video here I'll continue on a second part of our whole interior upgrade so I'll make a part two showing the whole interior and the speaker design and everything so that's gonna be about it for this video so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned until next time